Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I'd like to have a look at Dragon Dictate. At the moment I'm dictating directly into the application right room and you can see that it is not working quite as well as it was at the beginning of the application scratch word recording full stop letters are being missed out even though the application is actually recognizing the words properly full stop let's start using the drag and dictate window instead full stop select they let's go to end new paragraph I've just turned the dictation off just so that I can tell you quickly that what I've been doing is I've been dictating directly into Dragon Dictate in a document called Dragon Workings. Then what happens when I click on save is that the text is reflected in an application called Marked. This is this one in the middle here. And what I like about Marked, it's an application from a fella called Brett Terpstra what it is for is so that I can convert markdown text into HTML so I click on this button here and I can see the HTML so the way that works is if I use the markdown syntax I will see it reflected in my mark text over here so for instance header 2 go to end new paragraph header 3 using markdown with drag and dictate is quite easy. New paragraph. So I do my work in drag and dictate using the markdown codes for the headers and then when I have it saved I will see that the changes are reflected in marked and also the changes will be available in the same application if I'm looking at it in right room. Full stop. So we have a look at this text here in a right room when it started going bad. So that's why I can't dictate directly into a right room, which is why I have to have this roundabout way of doing the dictation instead by dictating in this one here, drag and dictate. Then I can go over to right room and I can do a few changes there. So obviously stuff like that I would delete immediately. I can do stuff like say if I want to have this here in bold, I've got a shortcut which is control option and B and that puts in the uh, markdown codes for bold text or I can use control option and I and that gives me the markdown code for italics what I will usually do as well is I will read through the work because sometimes when I get through to it here I'll have to add a few commas that I forgot to put in when I was dictating and might make a few changes there just so that it reads properly within this application right room what will happen with this one is that it will actually do the saving as it goes because it's a proper lion application it has already saved there without me pressing command s for save and you see that this dragon dictate has already been updated to be in bold and the bit that it did in italics the word format is also changed and put into italics and that's all ready to go one other thing that i do is i will put in some of my internal links that I need on my websites. So for instance, if I want Dragon Dictate here to link to something, what I'll do there is I'll put in a code there for control option and forward square bracket. And then if I do MDR, which is a code, I can put in the reference tag of, it's basically gonna be the tab that is foremost in Safari. So I've, cho I've chosen this beforehand to be something that referred to by drag and dictate. So I don't know what I've got there at the moment, but let's just press enter. So what that does with this word in square brackets here, followed by the reference code in square brackets. So it refers to this reference code here, which goes at the end of the document with the URL for whatever's in Safari at the moment. And what that will do is when I look at it in preview now, you can see that I've already got the proper HTML code in there for the link to the document. I click on HTML again and you can see there that I have my 
HTML reference in there, my HTML link, and it's all just perfectly done without me having to do too much work at all. So there you go. That's using Markdown with Dragon, Dictate, Marked, and Write Room. So you might be thinking, then why don't I do my changes over in this one here in Dragon Dictate? So, for instance, if I take that there and I do my control option and forward slash, and then I could do my MDR, and then I could put in the reference tag. So you see that worked, but if I wanted to do some more dictation within that application, within Dragon Workings, I wouldn't be able to do it because all that dictation would have got messed up because Dragon Dictates wouldn't know about those extra bits I put in there, which were put in manually and not through dictation so that is why I would use drag and dictate to do the dictation write room to put in the extra bits and pieces that are going in manually so it's a workflow that works for me and what I can do then is I can take this but here do command A to select it all command C to copy it onto the clipboard and then all I've got to do is go to uh, Mars edit open it up and put it in there ready for a new post so I click on there for a new post and I can put that in there and everything's just tickety-boo as we like to say all my header codes in there and stuff like that what actually would be rather nice is if uh, Mars edits were to do some uh, changes so that it allows you to type in your stuff using markdown so there you go that's a little bit of a workflow for making blog posts for me it kind of works maybe you've got some way of doing it differently Perhaps you would like to leave a comment in the comment section below this post. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mac20Q videos so that you know when the next ones are due to come out. Bye bye now.